I made a dust collection monitor out of an Arduino to monitor the pressure in my dust collection you know, cartridge filter. That way I can help tell when it's going to start getting you know, less pressure and, um, or less vacuum and clog up more. Here's the dust collection monitor um, with the cover off so there's some wires. This is the 16-bit analog um, board that reads four different analogs and that I'm reading for the pressure sensors, the two pressure sensors. This other little board back here is the temperature, humidity, and bar barometric pressure. It shows how much dirty the filter is. It's 12% dirty now and this bar graph goes across as it gets dirtier and dirtier and eventually it will turn yellow and it's a warning and a red when it's really super dirty. So right now since it's off it shows zero inches of water right now H2O. And you can change these units, the temperatures and Fahrenheit, I can change that. Uh, that's the humidity, the barometer, I got the time and the date, and that's all from the NTP server. This white cable right here is the Ethernet cable. And I have the Ethernet shield plugged on top of the Arduino, and then the display plugged into the Ethernet shield. You can hit here and go to the different menus. This shows the run times and hours of the equipment in total forever. Um, the cartridge filter, since it was new, and obviously I just started all this, so everything's the same. And the filter, since I last cleaned it, how many hours of runtime? So I can hit zero and it will zero out this. There's even a, oh, I accidentally hit zero. Are you sure you cleaned the filter? Oh, oops, I didn't mean to hit that, so I just hit cancel and it goes back. There's a set clock, which you won't need if you have the NTP um, Ethernet server thing, but there's um, settings down here. You can change 12 or 24 hour, or you can have month, day, year, or day, month, year, what, however, what um, setting you like, and then you can hit set. So if you don't change any of the clock stuff up here, and you just change these settings and hit set, it doesn't affect the clock at all. It only affects the clock if you change something up here. But if you have the NTP server, you won't need anything except the settings. There's a setup, which is all the Fahrenheit or Celsius. You can just hit them. Changes back and forth. Touch screen. You can set them all up and hit set. There's a lot of different units for hopefully what everybody would want. So now if I turn this on, it will go into runtime mode. It'll get a little noisy in here. Now you can see the pressure is almost an inch of water. The vacuum pressure is about 2.3 inches of water. And the amps is running about 8 amps for the dust collector. When you turn it off, it goes back to the regular screen with the time and the date. Temperature and everything. And so it does daylight savings time all automatically, and it's pretty cool and will always stay exactly on because it every couple of hours it syncs up again. I'm selling the code and the schematic um, and a detailed article on how to um, build your own one of these if you want. Um, it's just ten dollars, so fairly cheap and you get the schematic and the software and everything. You don't, know how to, you don't have to know how to program, but you'll have to be able to figure out how to get this all put together and get that load, the software loaded onto the Arduino, which isn't too hard. Um, you will need to know how to solder, so you'll need some skills as far as all of that. I did use an amperage sensor that's just a coil that clips around the, um, the hot wire that way, you don't have to cut the hot wire and modify your equipment at all. There's another way of doing it that another guy used, and it's a little tiny board, and you put the two big, you know, one in and one out with your hot wires, and it measures the amperage that way, but you're running a huge amount of amps through this little tiny board that's made in China, 
and it just didn't seem like a good idea to me. So I liked the alternative where you just clip this thing around the hot wire and there's no direct connection. You don't cut your hot wire, you don't do anything else. So that's the way I went with that. And it reads the amperage off of the uh, dust, dust collection monitor. I'm also planning on adding on to this very project um, an automated dust collection system that will turn off and on the dust collector too. Right now it doesn't do that. And it will turn all your gates to the correct thing. So what I'll be doing is adding an amperage sensor on every tool in the shop. And then on every dust gate I'll have a little servo motor that opens and closes the dust gate. With that I'll be able to just turn on the table saw, all the dust gates will switch to the right way and the dust collector will turn on and then like so many seconds after I turn off the table saw the dust collector will go off. That project will fit all inside this box too, at least I hope so. <laughs> um, there will be a little extra servo board that will fit in over here and there will be a lot more wires because there will be going to all the tools in the shop for the amperage and the um, servo wires. If you think you're interested in that, hit the uh, show more in the description down below. There's, there's a link to an article and um, there'll be a link in there to purchase the software and schematic to this. And hit like and subscribe. I appreciate it.